Hello everybody. I hope you're doing good and you're still playing and having fun with the uh, trial version of the artistic uh, digitizer from uh, Janome. So um, today is the third uh, presentation of uh, our demonstration, I should say, of uh, the software. And uh, if you notice, um, no, I, I, I said it wrong. Um, it's the last week huh, of the free trial. So when, when at the end, when it's, when the trial is over, make sure you save everything on your, um, computer. If you were working with some design, because when it's over, they pull the plug and you lose your design and there's no way to, uh, uh, to, to recuperate them. I, I hope I'm saying right. And, um, but if you buy the software, of course, you'll lose nothing. But if you decide not to take it, well, and, uh, well, the, the trial version is free for one month. It depends where you live, but here in Canada, it's for one month. If um, you decide to buy it, you have to contact your dealer, not Janome. Janome has nothing to do with this. You buy always. Janome doesn't sell, huh? Uh, Janome is a distributor that sells to dealers. So you have to contact your dealer or a dealer or, and, uh, and buy it from them. And you, you, on the people who speak English, you have, um, Facebook typically exclusively for artistic digitizer. And, uh, Anne Ein is doing one live a week about the software. You know, it's really friendly. People ask questions. It's not a real structure, like, like a class class, but the, it's um, uh, everybody join in, okay, and ask questions. Okay, I would like to find on my iPad just to show you the picture, but um, I'm sure you... Um, you attend to, to these, um, no, I, I, I won't do it now. It's, it's hard, you know, to talk. First, it's not my language. And then talk and show and sew and, uh, so, and iPad. It's, it's a lot, but that's okay. So let's switch to the software. Okay. And I'm here. Okay. What happened while you were sleeping? Artistic Digitizer 1.7. It had an a, an upgrade was update was available. Sorry, it's an update was available. Okay, so maybe when you turn it on today, or, or I don't know when. When you turn it on, it says to you, "Hey, you had a square here." It says, "Oh, we have an upgrade you update. You want to update your software." Well, it's free now, so you say yes, huh? And then it became 1.7. Right after you update the software, you have to restart that software, okay? And also, you have the printable help. This is the user guide. For the full software artistic digitizer, you have 500 and four pages okay for the junior because junior also was updated for the junior you have less than half of this of course because there's in the software it's uh, it, it doesn't have the all the all the function of the uh, the software huh? and junior is not full huh? for sure there's less function less possibility so it's a it's to know a software. It's it's not bad to start with, but one day you won't have enough. Huh? You will want more. So there's also an upgrade. Upgrade is starting from junior, upgrading to full software. So do you want to print 504 pages in color? You know, if it's not in color, mm, uh, I want to see, well, you know, in black and white, uh, you don't see as well as in color. So what can you do if you don't want to print the whole one? And you have 
let's say you have um, an iPad. I'm saying iPad because uh, the application with Genome are, on, uh, are uh, with Apple, okay? So you copy paste this user book. The user, uh, I'm going to read it, it's easier for me. Uh, the user guide, you're going to save it onto your computer and mail it to yourself, email it to yourself, open the email with your iPad and save it into, well, I, I'm not sure, book or, uh, I think it's book, me, I have it in French, so something, you know, you can save it somewhere else, somewhere in the iPad that you can read those 504 page pages. You know, it's really helpful to have or a printed copy or a PDF copy beside instead to always have to come here and ask for the, for, ask for that, uh, that, uh, that book. Okay. So that's number one. So what happened with version 1.7? Well, well, here. Now they add, whoops, whoops, CM17. How was your week last week? You had a good week, busy week on the social media. Did you see the new machine, Continental M17? Did you see all the short video? Did you sleep? Did you have the nightmare? Huh? So, or were you running to the bank right away? Okay. So anyway, so they, they had to put it. So I want to show you something. When oh, my mouse is okay acting, let's say CM17. It shows you the hoop available for this machine. See, the attach is on the left. Okay. Look, my 15. The attach is at the back. And let's see the 550E. The attach is on the right. So as soon as you ask a, a machine, and uh, any company, let's say Baby Lock, see the hoops are there. So a software is made for a computer. Okay? It's not made for iPad. So a software is, is not made for sewing machine, is made for the computer. Then by choosing your brand of machine and the model of your machine, the uh, hoops appears to you, appears to you, and you choose whatever the one that you need. Then to send the design to your machine, you have to choose to save your design in your machine format. Okay. Genome is Jeff, dot Jeff or dot Jeff plus. Okay. Uh, so uh, it depends on which brand you are choosing. So what else did they add? Well, I saw on, uh, um, on the group for the software, I saw there's um, a document, it tells you what's new with the software. All the time they add something and they fix bug. This is in any software, okay? You know, it, 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 I don't think that exists, no bug, nowhere. I don't think that exists, okay? They add so many, so many possibility and I think and I think, I'm not sure, because I just came back last night. I think Anne may, uh, did the video on it. If she didn't make the video yet, maybe she'll talk to it about it. She'll talk about it this week. Or maybe also um, uh, she wrote an article. I'm not sure. Okay? But just good things. They add more machine. They add more company color. They add. Uh, they add. Uh, you can import PDF as a vector. Uh, they they adding as a vector. They add uh, uh, EPS file AI. Uh, uh, it supports now 
AI or EPS file. Uh, you can uh, print the grid line and the outline within app. There's a new browser. You know what? There's no limit. Okay. So that's, that's, uh, my point is not this, but you have to know these things, okay? If, uh, if you, uh, it, it, the update didn't change anything to the view of the machine, okay? So, okay, today I'm going to do new. We're going to um, work with uh, applique. Let's see. Well, polygon okay so this is a shape I choose polygon and I drag and click oh six is easy let's see seven six we can all do this huh so you see so this is a polygon now select to on to deselect uh, to, to select your design you don't want the gray. Let's say you don't want gray. Okay, what do I want to do with this? I want to do an applique. Okay. Auto border. Running stitch. Okay. And outline. I want to do applique. Uh, I'll, I'll come here. Applique. Yeah, I don't want black. I'll remove the black. Whoops. And how do I want my applique? Okay. Do I want them with uh, just a straight line, triple line, the real applique stitches, or other type of applique? Let me change the color because I want to show you something else. Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't press the button good enough. Is it red? Yes, it is now. Okay. Here's my first applique. Let's say you want a second one. You select, copy, paste, and you need your four. Um, okay. You need your four arrow, and I'm going to flip over and let's see I can use the arrows from my keyboard okay and this one I'm going to do green okay now what is gonna do you have two appliques here okay you don't want this one, the green one is on top of the other one. If I want to change them, I can change them here, huh? you know. So what I want to do, I would like to, I don't want to embroid my applique underneath here. Okay. I'm going to select both of them. And then it brings me, whoop, okay. Uh, another because I was in French before, so oh, oh, I didn't remember what word. It's the different word here. Here it's in English. So let's say I want to weld. Look at this. As easy as this. Or undo. Or you want to trim. Or intersection. Okay, so you have a few choices. It depends on what you want to do and how you want to do this. And, uh, you know, from one shape, uh, we can, uh, whoops. Okay, and you know, we played with this. You can do circular array or rectangular array or square or oval. You, you all, we all saw this, okay? So this is applique. I'm coming back here. Whoops, I'm coming back here. What is this now? Okay. I'm working on a Mac, huh? and I'm not too familiar because it's new for me. See, when you don't like something, you can change it. You know, they're not all good. The, the color, uh, the, 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 the shape is... No. You have to select, 
ask. Bon. The shape are not all good. It, it doesn't suit all the time. Okay? But may, maybe it suits, but some, if you don't like it, then property, select, and then you come and change whatever. And you look, you like it or you don't like it. You change it. Look at this. Okay? So this is applique. I will change a few little things from um, from um, the software, uh, fr from the class just before. So let's say you want to do this as an applique. But this is me who draw that design. Let's open something new browse and I'll pick a design let's let's put this one okay I will enlarge the design just because we see better okay center I like to work I like to work with everything is right into place then I'm not uh, so the heart here I don't want to embroider the heart I would like to put a heart as an applique how do I do this? Select the art. Right click. Uh, auto border. Uh, running. Okay. What happened now? I'll just move it for you to see. I have just the outline and this is what I want. Okay. Undo. Now I don't, I don't need the inside. See, I, I need my flower for sure. But I want this as an applique. This part here. Okay. So, what do I do? Applique. I don't want the black. And I'm going to choose a stitch. Let's say I would like to have only the applique stitch. Oh, no, you don't like it. Okay. Come back. Change the shape. You don't like it. You can do undo or change here. So you see, even an embroidery design, you can change, remove the embroidery and ask an applique. Okay. So now that applique, I want... Let's say you have many designs. You don't want to cut in place. You would like to use your uh, 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 artistic edge. I was looking for the word. Artistic, well, the cutter artistic edge, okay? And you want this to cut. You have many, many hearts that you put somewhere else, all the same size. And you want to cut them. So we have many techniques here. Hide in this technique uh, icon. You see, it's red. When it's dark, the function is not activate. When it's red, well, it was an embroidery before. And when it's green, I'm asking a technique. Okay, I ask to cut. A part of a design. I'm coming ba back here, okay, and I want to cut, but we have to be careful. Huh? There's cut work and cut. Cut work is to do like a Richelieu or um, a pile of applique all the same with the cutting needles. We have sewing needles or embroidery needles and cutting needles which are shorter and you see the angle here so they cut in with your embroidery machine they cut um, uh, some layers of uh, fabric i went up to 50 uh, not not 15 i would say 30 layers of cotton zero problem okay i want to cut this part, this part of the design. So you see, I was here, 
Okay, I asked to cut. The property will change cut. Okay. Now I have to tell my cutter what do I want to cut. Let's say I want to cut with with a fusible webbing. The machine tells me according to the uh, the cotton and the fusible webbing. The machine tells me it will cut at that speed. You don't like it, you can accelerate it or reduce the speed. Everything is pre-programmed, but if you don't like it, if you want to change something, there's no problem except these here. These two, the color of the blade and the blade depth, you cannot change. Okay? So, okay, let's say I said, okay, I want to cut yellow. I, I want to cut my, my cotton. Now I'm coming to File, Export to Cutter. Okay? I'm connect to, I want to connect to my artistic edge. Now it's going to tell me I'm not connecting. Of course, I'm, I'm not connected. But I still can see my design. Okay? So you see, my design is here, ready to be cut. And it, it, it reminds me, insert your yellow blade for and here the um, precise uh, adjustment. But will you cut one fabric? Well, no. Okay, so I'll ask another new. Okay, now I'm going to welcome and I'm going to change for cutter. Artistic edge. I have the 15. I want to use that mat. Let's say I want to use that mat. I don't want to use this design. Okay. So, no, no. Okay, this design here, I'm going to copy, copy, and come here. Uh, no, did I ask? No, no. Oh, okay, here. No, hold on. New. I want my mat. Now, welcome, my mat. This is what I want. Okay. No, 15. Okay. And new. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. It's there. It's the center. Oh, maybe I remove, uh, uh, maybe I remove view. I want to see my mat. Uh, remove hoop. I don't want that. Well, I must remove it somewhere. Okay. Let's say I'm going to paste. Paste. My heart is there. Oh, maybe it's too big. Ah. Ah. Celine. Okay. So this is the right side. Uh, size. I'm sorry. Size. You don't want to cut one by one. Huh? So... When I have a, a, an arrow, when you see my cursor is not my arrow. So my four arrow is when I can move my design. Copy, paste. Okay. Beside. Okay. Take the two. Copy, paste. Move. Let's say you want a lot. Instead of cutting one by one, copy, paste. Okay, let's say I have enough here. Copy, paste. There you go. See? Then you can fill up. I just went fast. I would do it. I have room enough for... I have enough room for the second one, no problem, but... Uh, so you see, you keep going, fill up the whole mat. I'm almost finished. Uh, where's my copy paste? Maybe if I do this, copy, 
toothpaste. I really love my... Oops. Okay. Oh, what am I going to do? Okay. Select. Delete. Whoops. Okay. So I need undo. What did I catch? I catch too much. I just want the last. Hey. No. So I can. No, 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 no. Say the end. No. So I did all this. Now I'm going to select just this. No. Okay. Ungroup. Well, I'm going to get it. Not enough. I want three rows. Okay, let's. I don't want to lose time, but you understand what I mean. You know, everything goes so smooth when you're alone. So you fill up as much as you want and you send them to be cut. Okay? So this is just to show you one of the functions. You know, Genome, we sold a lot of, um, of Genome. Um, uh, digital cutter. Okay. So what am I doing here? So again, I will have my, um, I would have my applique cut my fabric. Hey, okay. Cut my fabric and, oh, I wasn't cutting here. Aha. It's not what I want. I want applique. Okay. I don't want the inside. Oh, I understand. I didn't auto border. Running. Okay. Now, applique with what? With whatever I want. And they would be all cut previously with your cutter. So, my point is you can draw your design to send them to me cut, then to be embroidered precisely because you'll have your uh, you'll print your template and from a new design and from an existing design so you can choose some part of design to be as a, as an applique let's say you look at that flower here that's another option you know there's some designs there you want to embellish them look at this run uh, running stitch yes but I didn't have inside. Ah, uh, okay. I'd like to have the whole thing well, uh, well defined. I should say. Well, okay. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. And this one also. Two border running. Okay. Well, too big. But no. It, yeah. If you want, you can even shrink it. Look at this. You can move it around. You can. There's no limit. There's no limit. Of course, when you buy a software, Genome gives classes and gives classes. Your dealer gives classes. You also you also have homework to do. Huh? Okay. So this is from an uh, existing design. You can change whatever you want. I'm going to keep this design and undo, 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 undo. Okay, I'm still here with my heart. Let's say this time you did the applique and on top of it, you want something else. You want rhinestone. Ah, huh? so you see, embroidery is done. It's red. Um, the cutting is done red. Ah, green. When I'll see, when I'll see, when I'll say click OK, you'll see what is going to happen here. OK. Ah, it bring me crystals. If I click on it, look your heart. Ah, as hard as this. But then you can change this. OK, you have to tell, first of all, you have to tell. Which Zwarovski, what, what do you use? Square, triangle, Zwarovski, Preciosa, what do you use, okay? 
Then what size you're using? Let's say you have small, small ones. Let's say you don't want that color. You want, uh, it was red. Uh, let's say you want CM. Look at this. If, if I 200, look how nice. So then you will cut your template for the heart. Then if you're not happy, you can space them. Uh, you can space them to have less. You can space them or you can change size. Let's say I'm using size 16. Look at this. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to say, I'm gonna do this here. Separate crystals. Again, ungroup. I'm keeping this one. Let's say I don't want that. Whoop this one. See what you can do? I don't want that one. You see, it's costing me too much, these rubies. Okay? There's another way to do it, but I'm just showing you that you can move them one by one. Look at this. Wonderful, huh? Or, you see, oh, I would like a big one in the center. I don't want my yellow. No? Remove it here, crystal, and I want to position good. Here we go. Okay, this one I can move it with the arrow of whoa, with the arrow of my keyboard. Am I okay? Is it in the center? No, I better use my mouse. You know what? Uh, that uh, a software we you need a mouse. Oh, you don't like the size? No? Let's put a size 30. Whew! That's a big... Uh, start to be... Uh, start to like it, huh? Anyway, th there's no limit to play. So, we saw applique. We saw uh, how to cut applique. We saw how to add crystals. What, what else technique we can do? You see, we did them three. You know, if I insert a knife or a blade, it'll cut. But instead, in my artistic edge, instead of a cutter, I add a pen. Of course, I can write. I can draw. I can paint. So... I can do my cut my stencil and draw my design or my writing. You know what? We did sell a lot of them. Maybe I'm I'm not sure. I'm for Genome Canada. Maybe Genome is gonna ask me to do some classes on I don't know. I, I, I have no clue. I'm saying this, but uh, I hope I'm not saying anything wrong. But we did sell a lot of those artistic edge and it is such a great toy. It, and I'm saying a toy, huh? but um, uh, let, let's, let's play with them as much as you can. Okay, so it's already 30 minutes, more than 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm saying until uh, uh, last week to try your software. And I'm going to do for quilters uh, another demonstration this Friday, same time. Uh, same Facebook. So I wish you all a good week and uh, enjoy your free trial and uh, we'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye everybody.